Hello, welcome to a quick update on the Cromford layout. As you can see I've done a little bit more um, grass textures this time on the layout. I didn't actually put that on video because I think everybody knows how to put grass on, a bit of PVA, a bit of grass. Um, but you can see that I have actually painted the, the canal um, in a sort of a muddy looking um, canal bed and I've put a little bit of texture inside uh, using a little bit of the uh, grass um, and uh, I think it was some um, well, let me uh, let me see there so it was some Pico scenic materials it's breaking dust so I just use that for a little bit of a, a muddy look um, it actually seems to work quite well. The hard standing, I did a little bit more work on this, did another sort of wash with um, different colours. It's actually not too bad now and I decided to make the path along here and this is a very overgrown path so it's got the grass on either side, we can have all the reeds on the canal there. Um, I have also put some edging on the canal so, so you can see some edging stones on there. Um, and I was thinking, what do I do on this back piece now? Because I know this is going to be an embankment, but I need a wall. So I've just started to put this wall on. It's temporary at the moment. I was just seeing how it sort of looks. And I just wanted a path in front of it. So I've just painted a white path. And I'm going to do exactly the same washes that I've done on the concrete to give it a concrete feel. Then put a, a, quite a lot of grass around it, a bit more ballast just to hide all the edges. Um, so it'll only be a very thin path in the end and on here I need to put the embankment so um, just give the layout a bit of height as, and actually it is got an embankment in real life so I want to sort of simulate that and um, I'm going to show you how I'm going to do that I've um, put the backboard on just to secure that. Also just put some white paper over the top just to protect the backboard so that it doesn't stick to it. And I'm going to be using some expanding foam. I normally would use this on larger areas um, where you want hills quickly, build them up. Um, you just got to be very careful on how much you use. So this is going to be a minimal amount that I need. So I'm going to do this outside as well because it will get, could get messy. Um, and I could get it a right mess if I get it in on any of the, the layout itself. And it does take a lot of cleaning up if you do. So let's go outside. As you can see, I have actually just rested it on the backboard because I want majority of the height on here. There's going to be a small amount on the uh, main board itself, so let's have a go. And like I say, just be used sparingly. Why isn't that one coming out? I've done this many times in the past and you think there's not enough on there and you add more and then it ends up in a disaster so I'm not going to let this fall into a disaster I'll leave it at that and if I need to add more I can add more at a later date so after a couple of hours it will dry fairly solid but be very careful, don't try and start sculpturing it yet, leave it for at least 24 hours, it will still be wet inside. 
and then it'll just go all over your knife and it'll be this sticky mess and then you'll get it on your layout <clears throat> but you can see the sort of look I'm after so I'm going to go um, I do need to remove a little bit of this but it's going to be the wall in front of there you know have the embankment um, I'm going to use some plastic cloth over this as well um, once I've sculpted it and got it as close as I want it to you know not be too steep but steep enough because it is actually quite a steep bank hello it's been a little while let all this dry I've actually added a little bit more because uh, when I was sort of testing it with the wall it didn't seem to have enough so and I've left this for a little while to just redry I've now started to just cut away some of the back um, I'm going to try and reshape this to exactly how I want it so there's a few bits that's sticking out that I just need to cut off so you can easily do this with just your sharp knife just be very careful um, you don't want to be cutting yourself with it and it's really just cut it to the shape that you exactly need um, you might not want it as high and you can cut away more than you need just keep testing the shape working out the, the bits that you want to cut off obviously there's going to be way too much sticking out there but it needs to be a bit more flatter um, and this wall there is to keep this embankment uh, in place, that was the idea. So I don't want it as high as that, so I'm going to cut a piece off there. Um, just on here, I'm going to cut a piece off there. And this, um, just trying to level it off and sort of smooth it so it gives a bit more of a, an appearance. If you've got any gaps, obviously you can always put a bit more of what you've cut off inside there. Um, just glue them down and then when the plastic cloths over it it'll all match up and also plaster it will give it a good texture so I'm going to need to chop um, I'm going to do this there because I want this to go sort of sloping upwards so I'm going to just need to turn this on its side and cut a piece off there before I do that, I need that. There's a piece there that I need to. So I will just carry on getting it to exactly the other shape that you want, and then fill in any of the gaps with a little bit of. Uh, obviously, you cut off pieces. You can, you know glue in, just use PVA glue um, and then we'll sort of get to get it sort of textured you know with the plus cloth and then and start to put the um, the grass artificial you know the um, the flock I've done quite a bit of cutting there I've glued a few extra pieces in just use some PVA glue um, I seem to be getting a bit of PVA glue on a few extra pieces that uh, so it's really just there to fill in a few of the gaps um, I'm just going to leave that glue to dry and then I'm going to just put it on his side um, and then start using some plastic cloth um, I've measured all the wall all sits out nicely now if I need to trim some more off at a late date can do if it doesn't look very good so I'll come back to this very shortly a good idea um, just to cut all your plastic plaster bandage just in small pieces big enough so you can utilize um, before you start um, I always put a PVA mix when I'm doing this so it just helps it stick um, you don't have to do that you can just use the water but I've also just put some paper on here just to put the backboard I put it on its back because 
the water will run this way then, won't run onto my layout. Um, but if you are doing it in a static, you're going to need to then put some cloths to protect your layout. And it's as simple as just soak it into the water and start to layer on. And just keep going along. And it's really carry on like that until you've completely covered all of it. Um, sometimes you want to do two, a couple of layers really. Don't really need any more than that, but you can put two or three on. Um, so I'm going to come back to this once it's set, once we've all finished. Hi, I'm going to just leave this to dry now. As you can see, it's all nicely covered. Um, there's not a huge amount of water, so it won't take too long to dry. Uh, it's mainly just a plaster cloth that's uh, got wet and there's a bit of a little bit of excess as you can see on the uh, on the backboard with the paper that I've used and um, that'll clean up nice um, and then I can just clean the backboard before I put the backdrop on but it'll dry fairly quickly because there's no paper mache underneath it's just that uh, foam from the um, expanding foam so it uh, should be fairly dry within an hour or so and uh, we'll have a look then. I've left this for a little while now, about a couple of hours, and uh, it's totally solid, perfectly dry to paint. So I'm going to give it a coat of green paint before I put any uh, artificial grass on there, some scatter, um, and then I can put the wall in front, finish the wall off, and start to get the rest of the scatter on there. So, hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you on the next one. Take care and have a good evening.